Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake is presented by Cherokee Casino Grove and made possible by At the Mid-America Industrial Park in Pryor, there are over 100 jobs waiting for someone just like you. These are high paying jobs that don't require a degree. With over 80 manufacturing plants to choose from, it's easy to find your dream career. Need training? Don't worry because Mid-America provides on-campus classes supported by employers. If you have recently graduated from high school and want to start a career in manufacturing, earning a great wage and benefits, visit midamericadelivers.com to learn more. Watch by viewers and members like you. Coming up on Living Grand on Grand Lake, coffee, tea, or gluten-free? This new cafe has all that and more. Enjoy those Friday night lights from the comfort of your own computer. And where to catch a Grand Lake fireworks show? All this and more coming up on Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. <laughs> This is Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. Welcome to Living Grand on Grand Lake. I'm your host, Christy Wallace. Andrew Crawford had always dreamed of owning his own restaurant someday. After working in and managing several restaurants and even venturing into the financial industry, Andrew knew the time had come to make his dream a reality. He grew up spending summers and holidays with his family on Grand Lake. He loved the area and felt Grove was a prime location to open up his own cafe. Andrew and his wife, Megan, opened Crawford's Bakery in the spring of this year to rave reviews. They offer delicious sandwiches, salads, breakfast, fabulous coffee, and baked goods. Andrew has also mastered the art of baking gluten-free and usually offers a few gluten-free options every day. Introducing the new Crawford's Bakery and Cafe. Well, it all really started actually with a conversation I was having with my stepmom on the phone. I was doing sales at the time, and uh, we were talking one night, and she was just asking me about, you know, do you feel like you're fulfilling your call in life? And, and I really got to thinking about that, and that made me come to the decision that, you know, I'm not doing what I love, and I should give it a shot. And so she was the one who really pushed uh, Megan and I to, to go after this. It was, so it was um, my mother-in-law who really, you know, pushed us to go out here, but it was really my decision. Um, I knew that that's what he wanted to do. You know, he's really passionate about it, and I knew that he, it wasn't fulfilling for us to live in Kansas City with him working kind of, you know, those type of jobs, sales jobs, and so, so I said, let's, you know what, let's pick up and move. Let's go to Grove and open up this business because I know it's going to be the best thing for us, so, and I'm so happy we did. Well, we actually met through uh, mutual friends. Um, my, one of my really good friends and one of her really good friends had worked together. They actually lived together. And so I just went over to his house one day with my best friend and that's how we met. So the first thing that he made for me was chicken parmesan and I could not believe how good it was. No one had ever made me anything like that before. He is so talented, he's such a good cook and chef, and you know, he's, he's just so personable and honest, and, and he makes a really good boss. Yeah, well, I, uh, I've been working in restaurants for about 12 years now. I started just out of high school, and um, so that was part of it, but also I always enjoyed baking and cooking growing up. I watched my grandmother as a fantastic chef, my mom as well. Um, learned tricks from both of them and just kind of combined that together with my knowledge of the restaurant industry which I learned through serving, bartending, later managing. Um, so put all that together um, and that's where we're at. Um, so Andrew's parents live here um, and so in order for us to you know be able to pull this off we needed a lot of help with with family and so that's why we decided on Grove and it was also a nice you know, a small town, and, and we like the small town feel, and so we're, we're really happy to be here.
Megan is definitely the one who keeps me organized. Um, she could tell you I'm kind of all over the place. I have a little bit of ADD, but she, uh, she keeps it all organized. Um, she helps everything on the business side, it would be, would be her. And then that way I can just do my baking and cooking. And she's actually a great baker too, but um, she's, uh, she's definitely the one who keeps me together. Uh, we're kind of yin and yang, you know, opposites. And so it just, it works. I'd say he's more quiet and reserved and I'm the more outgoing one. Oh my gosh, it took us forever to do the menu. I mean, we, were, we started, you know, months ago, months and months ago. And then almost to like the day before we opened, we were still just kind of, you know, modifying it. And, but it was cool, it was a cool process because that's usually an Andrew thing. He's the creative one and he comes up with the things, but I got to help with that as well. So it was a really good bonding experience for us. I'm just very proud that we're basically a scratch kitchen. I mean, everything you're gonna get here is, is good quality food made from scratch. Um, so I'd say, you know, things like my cinnamon rolls, I hand roll them. Um, you know, every baked good you see, we're, we're making from scratch. So it's all gonna be fresh and we wanna keep it that way. Well, the great thing about this, this job that I've found is that it's truly a passion of mine. And that's, that's the reason I wanted to, to do it is because I knew that it wouldn't just be work, that it would be, it would be more. It would be me answering the call of, you know, the talents I was given, uh, blessed with. And, and so I'm really proud of that. Seeing Andrew happy is what makes me want to come back. Crawford's has a cool vibe, so it's a great place to relax while you eat. They happily accept to-go orders and they also cater. Crawford's Bakery and Cafe is located at 2230 South Main and Grove, just north of Honey Creek Bridge. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can find them on Facebook or visit their website, crawfordsbakerycafe.com. Right after you visit their website, visit ours at rsu.tv where you can catch past episodes of our shows. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. We'll be right back with more after I go grab a coffee on Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. This is Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. At the Mid-America Industrial Park in Pryor, there are over 100 jobs waiting for someone just like you. These are high paying jobs that don't require a degree. With over 80 manufacturing plants to choose from, it's easy to find your dream career. Need training? Don't worry, because MidAmerica provides on-campus classes supported by employers. If you have recently graduated from high school and want to start a career in manufacturing, earning a great wage and benefits, visit MidAmericaDelivers.com to learn more. So one of the things that we have on Grand Lake is we have several businesses that are open in the evening in several places for people to go eat dinner by boat. So a lot of people don't boat at night and one of the things to remember is no matter how familiar you are with the lake, the lake looks different every night because there's different lights on every night. So make sure you know where you're going and obviously we, we discourage the consumption of alcohol and driving a vessel, but more importantly, make sure your vessel's set up to operate at night and make sure you know how to operate your vessel at night. It's not uncommon for us to stop somebody out here that either don't have their navigation lights on or only have part of their navigation lights on and they don't know how to turn them on. And, and not only is that embarrassing for them, but it's just tremendously dangerous for the other vessels that are out at night. And if you're gonna be out at night, check your lights before you leave. It's a great idea to carry a spare bulb and the tools to change them because they do burn out at the most inopportune times. So again, if you're gonna go out at night, know where you're going, uh, be familiar with that, and make sure all the equipment on your vessel is working. And now, time for the Living Grand on Grand Lake events page. 
If you're looking for a fun, free, and educational activity, explore GRDA's Summer Dam Tours. Learn more about the men and women who first envisioned and later constructed the dam, as well as all the endeavors faced to bring concept to reality. To schedule a tour, contact GRDA's office at 918-782-4726. The Duck Creek Fireworks is the longest running tradition on Grand Lake, so mark your calendar to celebrate and honor the freedoms given to us by those great Americans and that served this country's armed services throughout our history. For information, go online to DuckCreekFireworksOK.com. Bobby the Bobber is back for this year's annual Great Grand Bobber Drop. Bobbers will start dropping from the sky at 8 a.m. at areas near Grove, including Elk River, Honey Creek, Sailboat Bridge, Shangri-La, and in Horse Creek near Bernice. After you've gathered some bobbers, bring them to the Grand Lake Sports Center in downtown Grove and other official claim sites to win one or some of hundreds of prizes donated by members of the Grand Lake Area Merchants Association. Well, that's it for now from the Living Grand on Grand Lake events page. Welcome back to Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake, presented by Cherokee Casino Grove. As any Oklahoman knows, Friday nights in the fall are all about football. Our communities love supporting student athletes, and that extends to baseball, basketball, soccer, and just about every other sport our schools participate in. As a young athlete in Miami, Oklahoma, Bless Parker enjoyed playing sports and soaking in all the support from spectators. When Bless found a way to broadcast games over the internet, he knew he had to jump on this opportunity so that family and friends from near and far would never have to miss a game again. Um, you know, I grew up in Miami, so being a Wardog is all I've ever known. So um, to me, it's all I ever wanted to be. You know, from the time I was a kid, I watched the Wardogs that came through here, you know, Steve Owens. And of course, I didn't watch Steve. He was. Heisman Trophy winner a year before I was born. So, but of course I knew who Steve was. Tinker Owens uh, played here. Matt Munger, um, you know Mike Wolf. We've had some really good football players come through here, and uh, growing up watching those guys uh, made me want to be a war dog. Um, you know, a lot of my friends growing up couldn't wait to get out of here. Um, I never really had that desire to leave. Uh, I like here. I like the small hometown atmosphere. Um, so being a war dog is all I've ever known. And, you know, once I was out of school, I, I came to the games and uh, didn't really miss many games. Uh, I've missed a few but over the years, but I haven't missed very many. And, uh, you know, I just like supporting the War Dogs. Uh, you know, I've been there through some good times. I've been there through some bad times. We've had some rough years. But, uh, you know, right now, uh, we're on that upward swing, and uh, there's a lot of good things getting ready to happen here. Uh, so I, I love being involved. I, I love the kids. I've, I either played with their parents or I know their parents or grandparents. Uh, that's the beauty of a small town is you kind of know everybody. Uh, I was sitting in the stands one night watching a game. A buddy of mine was doing the radio broadcast of the football game. Uh, he sends me a text message and says, hey, come up and do the second half for me. He says, my high school reunion, I want to hang out with my buddies, come do the second half. I'm like, what? I've never done that before. And uh, so he told me, you can do it, you know football, get up here. So I went up and uh, did the second half of that game and fell in love with it. So I was the fill-in for him the rest of that year. Uh, and then at the end of the football season, the radio guy asked me to do basketball. So I started doing basketball, doing the play-by-play -play for it. And uh, during while doing that, some of our alumni had messaged me and said, hey, we heard you're doing the games. We live in Seattle. How can we log on and watch the game or listen to the game? So I go to the guy at the radio station and ask him, you know, hey, is there a way they can listen on the internet? You know, he blows a gasket. I was just telling him what people were asking for. Uh, but uh, he kind of went overboard with it. Uh, so I got home that night, told my wife, I'm done. I can't work for this guy. He didn't pay me nothing anyway, really. Uh, but told my wife, I can't do this. I'll finish the season for the kids, but after that, I'm done. And so my wife says, well, why don't you do it yourself then? And that's how this all started. The first season we did War Dog Sports, uh, we were just audio only on the internet, like an internet radio basically. Uh, we had a bunch of a bunch of listeners, uh, but they started asking for video. So I went back to the drawing board after that season, started researching the video side of it, 
uh, and got it figured out. Um, and so that, so this will be our seventh season of, of video. And since we've been doing it, I've been getting calls from other schools saying, hey, we want you to come to us. Uh, this year we finally branched out. We, we picked up Grove. Uh, so we're excited about doing some Red Runner sports this year. Um, we also picked up Commerce, which is our bedroom community a couple miles away from Miami here. But you know, it's rewarding, you know, to, to hear those comments from family members. Um, you know, one year we were doing a, a football game and um, my grandma sent us a message from Tennessee because I, I like to see the messages. I, I have a place where they can post and, and send messages. She was from Tennessee. She sends us a message saying that this was the first time she'd ever got to watch her grandson play football. Um, you know, he was a senior. He was playing tight end. So she sends that message and we didn't know that she'd never got to watch him play. You know, this kid's a senior in high school and his grandma never got seen play. So because of us and our sponsors, you know, she was able to watch. Well, two plays later, he catches a 75 yard touchdown pass. And so, you know, it really makes your heart warm when you, when you see stuff like that. And you know, and grandma got to see that because of our broadcast. But you know, I think growing up in this area, and I've always said, this is, this is the nicest people in the United States is right here in this, this part of Oklahoma. Um, you know, everybody always says hi. Uh, they'll do anything, they'll give a shirt off their back to help somebody. Um, they don't turn people away. Um, you know, you see it from different communities that when there's a need, it gets addressed. You know, Miami's that way, Grove's that way, Commerce is that way. I mean, when there's a need, the community makes sure it gets addressed. And uh, so I love that about these communities that we, here, we have here. Uh, just the support they show for the kids, and the, and the community. So uh, that may, I mean, that makes me want to stay. You can visit wardogsports.com to watch a live video of the Miami High School football and basketball games. And stay tuned. Bless has plans to extend to other local schools as well. Speaking of staying tuned, stay with us. We'll be right back with more on Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. This is Living Grand on Grand Lake. This is Living Grand on Grand Lake. Grand Lake's newest destination for great fun is located just off the lake and grove. At Cherokee Casino Grove, you'll experience exceptional food and outstanding service. Stop in to relax with your favorite drink and root for your team on the big screen. Experience live local music on the 1897 stage every weekend. Cherokee Casino Grove on Highway 59 at East 250 Road. It's the most fun you'll have off the water. At Roger State University, we keep things personal. It all starts here. We make sure our graduates get the most out of their education. RSU has campuses in Claremore, Bartlesville, and Pryor with on-campus housing and a wide variety of programs to suit your needs. It all starts here. Roger State University. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. Welcome back to Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake, presented by Cherokee Casino Grove. Welcome back. I'm convinced there's no better way to watch fireworks than on the water. Grand Lake is well known for the Duck Creek Fireworks Show, billed as the largest show in Oklahoma. But the celebration doesn't stop there. The very next day is the Grand Lake Fireworks Show in Disney, billed as the most accessible fireworks show on the water. Judy Barger has always enjoyed on-water fireworks show, but always thought about those who didn't have access to a boat for the very best views of local displays. 
So she gathered up a group of friends, raised some money, and started the Grand Lake Fireworks Show in Disney. Spectators line up on the shoreline and boats tie up to watch this fabulous and beautiful display. When I was a kid, I would watch fireworks at Vanita out in the country and they put, they shot them off at the football field. And they were good memories. And I remembered as a kid living in Tulsa, always watching fireworks over the tops of trees, watching Southern Hills fireworks. My dad would buy them and I could shoot it. I could uh, light the snakes that went around and do the sparklers and he would do the other fireworks. And then when I got older, they would let me shoot off the firecrackers and the bigger ones. Well, I retired from the railroad in 2006 and I wanted to rest a couple of years before I did something. And so I was thinking about this all along, but during that time, I was elected mayor, so that kept me busy, but with the help of my friends, uh, we formed this fireworks show. Um, I got involved about three or four years ago. A mutual acquaintance had introduced me to Judy, and um, she has just been so nice to me. She's got the kindest heart. And when she asked me to be on the Grand Lakes Fireworks Board, I. I said, yes, I'd love to help. Well, I live on Duck Creek, and now you can't see that show unless you belong to a yacht club, own a boat, or know someone who lives on Duck Creek. And that's when I realized that there are a lot of people here that didn't get to see that show except for over the tops of those trees. So I decided, yeah, I want to be part of this. I want to help put on a show for everybody on the lake. It was really hard the first year. <laughs> I think we got about $10,000, and then uh, now we are $25,000 show. But we have it for the children in the park, because to me, those are memories. <clears throat> and they will have uh, picnics and everything down here and make a day of it. Uh, do a lot of fundraising. Uh, uh, we've cooked. I've cooked all day long, making, you know, trying to raise money for this, you know, breakfast, fish fries. We've done a lot of things like that. We also do a 5K uh, in September for uh, the Cherokee uh, wings. They help us put this on, and that's one of our biggest fundraisers for this. And, um, anything we can do to raise money because without our donations we don't have a show the, there was this guy cliff elliott he was a real good friend of mine and he loved fireworks and he uh, has had a cabin over here at tijuana and uh, he said well you you uh, kept me from buying fireworks he said I don't have to buy them anymore. So he would donate. And then he passed away, and uh, later on, uh, we named the show in his m memory. So it was Grand Lake, it is Grand Lake Fireworks, but the show is dedicated to Cliff Elliott. Um, we just, we have barbecue and, and um, a lot of food and just have a good time and listen to music and watch the fireworks and enjoy all the the people you know screaming and yelling and the boats honking and that, that's what makes it worthwhile well I just like serving my community I think everybody deserves to have a piece of that pie so, and I really I just enjoyed doing things like that I was a hairdresser for years and I served Tulsa, the ladies of Tulsa and the men of Tulsa, you know, making them look beautiful and that's just part of me. Oh, well, they all love it. They really love it. Um, it's 10 years that we've been doing this now. It's a long time, 
but uh, what is hard about it is raising money. And the people around here help. They all help, the businesses help, and individuals here help. And when we have our show, you can see the boats as far as you look, clear on around to Langley. It's, it's quite a show. The Grand Lake Fireworks Show will take place on July 5th this year in Disney at the Spillways. For more information or to find the date for future years, pull up their page on Facebook. It's under Grand Lake Fireworks. Well, that's it for this edition of Living Grand on Grand Lake. I'm Christy Wallace. Have a fabulous week and meet me right back here next week for more about life on Grand. This is Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Grand on Grand Lake. America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake is presented by Cherokee Casino Grove and made possible by. At the Mid-America Industrial Park in Pryor, there are over 100 jobs waiting for someone just like you. These are high paying jobs that don't require a degree. With over 80 manufacturing plants to choose from, it's easy to find your dream career. Need training? Don't worry, because MidAmerica provides on-campus classes supported by employers. If you have recently graduated from high school and want to start a career in manufacturing, earning a great wage and benefits, visit midamericadelivers.com to learn more. Also by... Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. Plus by... I had the drive to boost my earning power. I was driven to be more competitive in the job market. Finishing my degree, that's what drives me. If you left college without a degree, reach higher. Oklahoma's degree completion program can change your life. You get affordable tuition, flexible class schedules with online options, and a degree from a state university. I was driven to earn my diploma. And I did it. Apply today at reachhigheroklahoma.org. Let your drive drive you. And by viewers and members like you.